Okay, so you left right now. And we, uh, we wound up um, in a hilly section. And uh, up on top of this hill, and we're looking down over the other side of the company, and there was at least a half a dozen enemy German soldiers down there. Just they're wandering around down there. So the, I, I didn't shoot because I had, had the grenades, but the guys inside of me, they, they just pumped the lead out of me and got, got rid of those guys. And, and so then the captain got, got me over. He, he showed me a map. He says, so, to, take, to take my squad we're to the other hill, the next hill over, like patrol over there, and then report back. If, you know, if, how, in other words, if I, if I didn't come back, you know what happened, I'd probably been captured or killed or mm -hmm. captured, you know, so whatever. So, and, um, so I, okay, so I got my squad, we went down the hill, and all I can describe is it was a, there was a bunch of rocks, just, you know, bunch of rocks in the hill you know, spread out on the, the hill there and there's a real steep hill and come doing I wasn't running fast but I was kind of you know halfway and I hit those rocks and my, my, my left my left foot just went right under me. I, I, I knew I did something that I you know, come to find out I, I had a, a severe sprain on my um, ankle so I, I, I wound up in the hospital with a cast on, they they, uh, they shipped me down by by plane to um, Marseille's to General Hospital on the head Marseille and, and uh, spent a few weeks down there. Came back to the outfit and then and then we uh, we were going through the uh, the national the national line. One. That was a big, big point mm -hmm. when I got back with them. And uh, there again, we, we, it seemed like there's more, more hills in that, that we, we were fighting. Our, our outfit anyway, we hit a lot of hills. So we're, we're in another hill like, and we're looking down this big ravine, the big thing down it for I don't know how many miles. And there was a road at it right down there where you could see. And all of a sudden, zip. A car or, or some kind of vehicle would, would pa try to pass through because they, they, they knew that they're that they're you know, gonna probably get nailed up. The German, your know, enemies, so they're, they're doing that. And in the meantime, on the side of me, well, I, where I was standing, was uh, there was a two or three tanks there, our tanks, and then this jeep pulls up and who pops out is a general. He comes out, takes out his field glasses, and he's he's ordering you know. Morris, I guess what you know. So this was going on for, for and it was like like uh, shooting in a gallery, you know, shooting shooting ducks or something. You see a, a zip a duck, a vehicle go across and then bing, they, they, they shoot at them, you know, with the tanks, you know. And so, but they they caught on to enemy dramas, and then we got it. Then it then it really came in, and I, I can remember it almost directly. Almost directly hit us because they're shooting. I think I guess they zeroed in on those tanks. The ger the, the the general just hopped in his jeep. And that was the end of him. I don't know if he ever made it or not. We we all just shagged out of there you know, on our own. You know, we went down down the hill, but back down in into in. So I figured in in, in the and they, they they were they were all congregating in that big cluster. I think to myself, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in that big cluster. I'm going over to the side and, and you know, get cover or whatever, you know, because I, I figured that there's going to be more more lead coming, you know, from, from this, the other side now that, you know, they're catching on, you know, so so I, I, I went over to the side. Sure enough, I hear a plane zingo, a doggone bomb comes in right right in, right in that, uh, midst of all that, you know. Yeah. It blew me off the ground, man, off the, off the up the ground, I swear about a foot up or more, and and 
and the concussion, it was so, so fierce and stuff, I, I couldn't hear or anything, I was just, I can remember just in a daze wrong for a while and stuff, and, and but I, I survived it, I didn't, I, I didn't get hit, but, but I got that severe, severe concussion that time. So we got, we got out of, got out of that, and, uh, Yeah, I, I I went I went to the Maginot Line. Yeah, then then after then after that we we um we got to, to the to the village there. Yeah, yeah. Then, then then I I I got to the um our our, our, our next our next big thing was um, um this town. I don't there again at the town. We we got the orders that you know we're gonna we're, we're gonna charge into that town. Suppose and when when they when they when they give the uh, when they uh, shoot, our, when we shoot our, our our smoke bombs, that puts the fog, you know, the smoke. They, they smoked up the whole dog place there, you know. And I can remember being up on a, up on a, on a on a hill, another hill, you know, on a, with, with the guys, you know. And what, while while the smoke was there, it what it was so it wasn't too bad. You know, you get sporadic, you know, or you know, a little burp kind of song, whatever. I, I, the, the, that little machine gun burp when you're up there was, it was, you didn't think nothing about it. It was that big stuff that was coming in that, that you worry about, you know. And, and, um, I can remember the, 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 uh, the, it was starting to lift, the, the, the smoke was starting to lift, and that, that's, that's when they, when, when they caught on to us. I could see, in the building right up in front that they, they had a zero ring and they, they started dropping the mortars and and I think there are mortars and, and one almost got me completely but the, uh, it, it was so close that, that the dirt and everything just, just, just covered, practically covered me and stuff and, and, um, and it just knocked, the, you know, knocked me off my pins you know so I figured I'm I'm not, you know, Nash, I'm not staying here anymore, and, and I, I, the, the guys beside of me got hit, you know, and I, I figured, well, I got to get off this, you know, get the heck off, off of here. It's, I'm going to get it, if I stay here, no, no, this is it. So I, I this is this about the last, the last thing that my front line thing was, when, 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 when I, when I hopped off of there and staggered down, 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 down at the, down, down into the headquarters was turned out to be. I just yelled out on the top of my lungs. I says, "Okay, you bastards! This is the last time you're gonna you're gonna get me." And I I just hopped off the ground and and I I could see the uh, the small stuff, you know, the burp guns and all that. All around me, just just like just like rain falling. Up. Why why didn't it get hit? I, I get down to the bottom and I feel myself, and I'm, I'm still in one piece. I couldn't believe it, you know. And and but I, I was so dog on I, I just collapsed on there. And all, all I could and I, I could I could hear you know, one of the commanders, you know, get get the get the get the meat wagon, you know, get the get get them, you know. They 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 they, 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 they put me in the ambulance and, and next thing I knew I was, I was in a hospital. You know, And you're asking me, you know, uh, what day it is? <laughs> I don't know what they call it. <laughs> they watch you know, and stuff. And who was the first president? See, see if I had any brains left, you know. <laughs> so, so, uh, so that was that was that. So I, 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 uh, um, uh, you know, I was in there for a little bit, and then until uh, they you know, got me kind of. So I could talk a little bit, I guess. I, I, I couldn't, you know. And so I, I remember uh, going into, into the uh, doctor's office, and he, and he says, so, he says to me, he says, uh, you, you're not going back up to the front of the pencil. He said, you can either go home 
or stay here. Do something here. Why is it allowed? I'm staying. So that's going to be more for the tool of this uh, uh, replacement battalion, we call it. And we, we, uh, um, we took like the, st the staging area, like the, like I would make it out of the hospital until you waited to get you off. If you had to have a place for a few days or a week, whatever, you know, we had a house and that, that, was, that, was, a, that was my job after. But uh, he, says, uh, he says those, he said, he's, Doctors, you know, those guys up there, he says, they're, they're crazy for seeing it. You know, he says, Well, you certainly had more than your share of action while you were there. So, having something yeah. that's a little yeah. less intense was probably yeah. a good thing. Well, a as it turned out, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, the way I'm talking to you now, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to you for about eight or nine years. I stuttered. You, you can ask my. My my stepbrother, my sister that my sisters that are with me, the older by I I couldn't talk. My my, my older sister Andy, she says, Johnny doesn't talk much. He's quiet. I couldn't talk. Yeah. Well, that's certainly understandable. When I got home, I I, 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 I forgot I forgot um all, all practically all, at, at that time I forgot all that, all I learned in in, 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 in my in my in my career, I went to school, but it, it came back to me. It came back to me. It slowly came back to me. So, while you were in the replacement unit, were you able to get to see any of the USO shows or any entertainment at all? Anything that you could call rest and recreation? No, I, 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 I had three, I had, uh, three, three day passes. Of the all, third, about 32 months, 33 months that I was in the service. One was in Jacksonville, Florida, right after right after basic training. One, one was in um, uh, Paris, which I got up on, on the Eiffel Tower. Not the Eiffel Tower. That, yeah, nice. that was that was nice too. And then and once in in uh, uh, Brussels, Belgium, we we're, were stationed right outside of Brussels, Belgium at the time. That was after the war. So that, that was that was nice. I, I mean, the, the, the thing that went to, the thing Jacksonville, Florida, though, I, I I don't realize I, I never was on the shore. I was 18 years old. And I, so I, I I buddied up with another guy. And we 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 went we in this hotel and, and uh, 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 so we said well, let's go down on the beach. I go down on the beach and my like like the complexion and stuff. I got it. I, I came back from the hotel. That was it. I, oh, I was a mess. I, I just, Lobster. So, so that, that was that, that was the end of the three-day pass. One day, and you know, I, I, I was I was in the bed the rest of, the rest of the weekend. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, no, no. was it when you were over there? Was there anything that you carried with you, like a good luck charm or anything that you was particularly significant to you that? No. no, but, but I'll, I'll point out one thing that was, that was big was I actually I actually was stepping right by that Hitler's home up in the Birch's Garden if you want to put that in there. Really? But yeah, we. Uh, oh, I was uh, well when, with the two elevens. We were going from uh, I was in Bamberg, Germany, then 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 for highlight, and then, then we went down to Dachau concentration camp, and that was about a mile out from the the concentration camp. And when the wind was the wrong way, man, you couldn't stand it. The smell of the of the, of the burnt the burnt and rock, and I I, I actually uh, when we were in ba when we were in Bamberg, well, we we took over this uh, this German these German barracks, and this this fellow in our outfit he was from from Washington State, he was a photographer and he was really in seventh heaven because he he he, uh, he uh, all all the the cameras and film and all that he he grabbed a lot of that stuff yeah. so that that's how that's why but that one picture that me and my brother said brother is from him from, from the German cameras well, uh, uh, he I had I had a, a, a I know I had, had one of the real uh, one of these uh, uh, coal cars that uh, and uh, 
there was a, a body that was thrown over the one that was you know, a, dead, a dead body that on the dad car. But that, that that was they said it was you know it, the, the place was it, it, it was a complete mess. So when we we went on, on a field trip from from there. They, they, that was one thing. Uh, we went to the Austria and Italian border where, where they had the Olympics in the 30s. Oh, yeah. So we saw the Olympics there, and on the way back, um, we, we went up to uh, up to Hitler's home. That, that was that, that one day trip. And I, I was kidding them. That the only time I ever had an orange overseas, I, we, we got an orange for 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 our for our, uh, our child for the day with a couple sandwiches. <laughs> with a, with a, yeah, sun kissed art. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, that was highlights of some of that. But were you eating most of the time? Just the field rations? When, when, yeah, when, when we were on, on the front lines, it, it was C, what they call the C, K, and D rations. The, the, the D rations were just, were just a, ch a chocolate bar. <laughs> they, they call it X rations. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so next last, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, we we got we got the three cans of sea ration, of uh, like uh, got a uh, hash stew and pork and beans, like you know, like Campbell's pork and beans, mm -hmm. and and then you got three cans of of um, what the uh, it was milk crackers, the, the sea ration with milk crackers. With the we I I I'd, I'd exchange it. We we we'd get about uh, about three four hard candies, and and about a package of three cigarettes. So I, I I I didn't smoke, so I I, I traded with the guys that wanted the cigarettes. They gave me their candy, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, so I had that. Yeah, and then uh, the um, the K rations were uh, they they were more like they, they call them dog biscuits. They're they're more of a uh, wheat thing, like you know, hard mm -hmm. cracker, you know, with uh, um, uh, well they they had uh, like uh, ham and eggs or something like that. It was just small, little, like 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 the tuna fish candy. Yeah, it's like that, you know, of that. And How'd you heat them up? Did you heat them up? Or did you them cold? You didn't dare light a match up there. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that was odd. We, 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 called, we had to have our church key, though, you know, the, the can over. But, the, but, it's, but it's hard. No, you never. On the front one, it's it as it was. That, that, but then, then we got the... We got the it, it was dehydrated uh, stuff over there, like the dehydrated eggs and the powdered milk overseas, you know, up there. You know, after you were know, in you know. And this, one of our, one of our cooks for the, you know, the two elevens when I got out, well, he was Arthur Hothier, uh, Hothier. He was, um, lived up in Holyoke, Massachusetts. So I got the, we were friendly had to wait back when we come. He he had a little restaurant up there. He passed away. And then I, I had another one that uh, Elmer Hoffman was a real nice friend in uh, he was from Akron, Ohio and we corresponded right right up until about uh, about four years ago. And his wife passed away and he passed away. Well he his, his son uh, became a uh, the army made, made a career. He became a, a brigadier general, he was telling me, corresponding, you know. Over all these years, you know, and then there was another one, uh, uh, Emil Hall. He lived in Westfield. It was a small world because my my uh, my brother-in-law, Louis Liptak, his his uh, brother George, was was a good friend of this Emil Hall that, that was that was in my office. So, uh, so you know, I, I kept in touch with him now, and then 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 he he wound up on this apple blossom wing was uh, in. Uh, Went on the border of uh, uh, Westfield and Salzburg, and my other um, brother-in-law, his his brother, lived on the same street with with his emo hall. Uh -huh. Come to find it's a small <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Dad, tell us about when you left Europe and came back to the states. What was the process then? Well, when I got back, I just, you know, I just wanted to get, to try to get back, and there was, there was no work. I, I tried to get, you know, you, you go to garage, and I, I didn't have the experience. I, I, I lost, I, I could see why, you know, everything was all messed up. So, so what, what I wound up as, um, what, one of our, 
uh, a parishioners that uh, uh, they call him Mike, but his name was Henry Henry Solby. He had he had a sub Ford dealership on Route 44 here in Cam. So he he gave me a call and he says, uh, "Got a job for you, you know," because he saw that I wasn't getting any work. And he, he was one of the one of the best parishioners at at, at the time financially. Get into the to our, our church. He was a real nice man. He, he did that to me, and I I I, I worked there from. Uh, about February to, um, and I, 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 am, I invite my name around, you know, the, the big Rogers, don't call us, we'll call you, you know. So, so finally, so finally about, uh, I remember about, uh, about the first, first week in, the, in September, I get a, I get a phone call, and it was uh, the 16th, about the 16th of September, my, my sister was getting married, that, uh, remember, and uh, it was that, the Monday after that, that uh, this uh, we t what was we talked garage now, but, but then, but now is is Mitchell Group. Mm -hmm. Remember, their 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 uh, uh, Chevrolet and Pontiac dealership. When when I joined them in 1946, they, they said like we, we got a job for you, and then, but then see that was um, I got on, on they they had they had a figure so they. Uh, with the government, so I was, I was under, under the GI Bill. The GI Bill allows to give me training. I, I and about four others that that they hired at the garage, and uh, um, that that uh, that was that, that part there. Um, to, well, I I, I stayed there. Well, I, I could talk about my, 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 my experiences a little bit, but my not like that. You know, I, I, I had problems there with my, my, my neck and stuff. I, I was put in a sling and stuff. My, they were hanging me, you know. Traction. I was getting, I was getting, I was getting such traction. I was getting such, such terrific headaches and stuff. I, I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't hack it after. And uh, try, trying to do, trying to do the job. Mm -hmm. So but back in about 1951, I was doing. I, I, I lost about three months of work there. That I was going at the heart for this therapy and whatever. And I got out of it, but but then I I, 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 didn't, I didn't go right back into, into into the trade because I I had to do a lot of, a lot of stuff underneath dashes and stuff like I was doing. Uh, I do I do the, uh, I, I couldn't do the heavy work. My my, my arm was never never right, okay. and so I, I was doing electrical and and. Um, Tune ups, you know, stuff and, and carburations, things like that, and uh, front ends, front alignments. And you know, I was, I was like the, la the last guy on, 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 the, on the assembly line. New cars would get, get drop them off the, off, the, off the truck, and it was my, my responsibility to, to check over, get the checklist, and make sure that car is ready for the customer that he's going to be happy with. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you only get CBs, they call them, comebacks, you know. Yeah. So, so I I, uh, I did that I did that long ago. It kept me busy and stuff. And, and um, but then I I, uh, I I was I drifted off. I was working at the boathouse up here in Metro. Uh, the uh, what, what is McDonough now? You know, it was compensating reservoir. I did mm -hmm. that for a couple couple of summers until uh, I got got myself. And little by little, I, I, I got so I could, you know, I could talk. And everything was coming back. I, was, I got the good breather up, up there and stuff. And, but then I, I was, I was also uh, part-time. Uh, uh, Adolph Engelke he was the manager at at uh, Mitchell's, well, we talk garage. He come over, came when I was up to, up to the boat house up there. He, he he got me back there to go to work. He said, "Come on, come back." Half a day or something like that. He didn't want to be back as it were, you know. So little by little, I I, I got back in, in, in back, back into into the my my, my field, you know, mm -hmm. mechanical. It, it was really nice. It, they they all. But then it, it got it got to the point in my, my career where I, that was 20 years, just about exactly 20 years, like August of '66, and I started in September '46. It got to the point. See that gal right there, my little, my little angel. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 and I. I was figuring, hey, 
I got I got to have a little bit more finances here. And they, they don't want to give me a raise or more raise or anything like that. And, and my, my note that they're all against, so I figured I got to get a little bit of security you know, for, for my family. So I, I, I talked with Walter Mitchell that this, this he, he, he took over after, after uh, uh, Bob Pringle died. And uh, uh, that was just, just when I got married in 1956. And I, very, uh, so uh, he 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 wouldn't come across uh, he wouldn't come across anything. So I, so I, so then in the meantime, O'Neill was on here and, and, and Avon was was looking for help and, and I, I I I made contact with Lou Slusher down with his service manager. So so he said, yeah, come on down here. So so I I I told him Walter you know, See you later. I'm going. So he he come over to the house and then he then, then he start handing me all kinds of things. He give me a give me a car. I don't have to go back and forth to work and all, all the goodies and stuff. I says Walter, I'm all through. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you. So I'll well, you shake his shake his hand. So I so I I, I went down to O'Neill's and I I'll, so God help me if this would actually happen. You know, I I go over there for for a few days. You know, you know you're. My, my stepfather, I remember he was saying, he was already trying to coach me, he says, John, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't go down, you know, you, you, got a, you got a good job up there and stuff, you know, sitting up. I said, ah, no, I'm going, you know. So I go down there, and a, a, after two days down there, I, I knew this uh, uh, Walter, uh, Walter jo uh, uh, that, uh, uh, Johnson, what was it? The, jo the Johnson guy from, from the camp. He he uh, uh, he comes over to me. And he, he, he was he was doing he was doing the new cars. And it, it, come to find out, they they had they had this huge Buick. It was loaded down with everything, okay. And and the guy across the street with, uh, ran the drugstore, and he was going down to Florida. And, and and he he come to find out, he he was. It got to a point they, they they couldn't make connection, and the guy was going to leave in a couple of days, and he had to have the car. If, if the O'Neills didn't give, didn't come up come up with the car, he's going to get a car somewhere else, and they're going to lose it, lose it, lose the uh, deal, you know. Mm -hmm. So oh, it was Howard Howard Johnson. So how Howard comes over to me. I I knew friends were kind of friends with him when I was going to high school for a couple of years in Canada, you know. He was a class ahead of me in my my my, uh, my life's class. So, so he says, John, he says, I, I got a problem with your system, you know. And he said, I I, I can't figure I am going I'm going I'm going up to Avon Mountain with, with, with this new with this new Buick and I think it's popping away and everything. It, it, it's just, just no, no no power and stuff. Okay, so I, I said, well, okay, we'll up our sleeves and school and see what's going on, you know. So so I says, okay, yank out the plugs. Yanked out the plugs. And the, and there 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 the doggone thing was uh, we, we 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 come to to the agreement yeah you know, the wrong camshaft because because the the, the, the valves were opening up they, they they weren't coordinated the way they're supposed to be so yeah so okay let's get the doggone camshaft and we ran to the ran to the ran to the uh, parts guy and, and they, they they located the camshaft so that night I remember I, I come home and and and, and I was telling telling Jenny and wife I said. Hey, you better get supper quick because I gotta go back and we gotta we gotta get this car get this car on the road, you know. So they, they said they, they they want me back there, you know. So I ran back there and, and they, they had slushing and all the all the biggies were out here, bro. Tore that dog out thing apart by by by, by about ten o'clock that night we, we had it going. Oh man. When we got that thing going, <laughs> that was it. I was in with Mr. Kenny there and, and his brother, his brother the salesman there. Well, he was so, so. So the next day, I'm, I'm, I'm going on the job. He said, he, he pokes his, uh, Mr. Kenny pokes his nose into the, uh, the service writer, uh, Mr. Ford. He says, you know, I, was, I was in between a job. You know, he says, don't work him too hard. He says. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, we were, you know, it, 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 I made, I'm, I definitely made the right move. And then, and then he, 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 he set me up for it. Uh, I, I went up what they call the flat rate. You know. So when I, what, what you, you want, how, what, what, how, how quick you could do a job, do it right, 
and how, how much it's, so I, I, I'd accumulate, I'd, I'd work, it was a 40 hour week, but I, I'd accumulate up, up to 70 hours on the jobs I'd get, mm. and no comebacks and stuff, you know, those things. So I, I, I was really, it was it. In, 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 in 1980, we, we, I had, had three, 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 the three of them were going to tuitions for college. Took care of me. Yeah. And speaking of schools, do you want to talk about when you finally graduated from high school in 2001? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you maybe heard about, about like, like, uh, like the, the veterans getting, getting their high school diplomas. Well, I, I, I would, you know, I, I, got, I got my, my diploma, I, you know, too. I got my, my journeyman certificate in 1950 after I completed the GI Bill. And I was a journeyman and everything was up and up that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a regular journeyman a technician. As a matter of fact, I got, got the, after I got the doctor of motors and stuff, I was supposed to be a doctor of motors. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, uh, we're, we're down, we're down at, at uh, uh, for caucus uh, downstairs at, at the church in, in this, uh, uh, Tom Turk. When the person is, he, he's kind of obvious at at the uh, at, uh, uh, state capitol. So he says, "Hey, John, you you, you hear you? Know, how, how come you, did you have your high school diploma?" I said, "No." He said, "Well, you ought to get it." He says, "You know, I I could, what the heck do I you know? You want an arm and retire and you want stuff on? Yeah, come on, why, why didn't you get it? You know? Well, oh God, I well, it's okay. So I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll talk to you know, my with Jenny, my wife and stuff. So so, so we we talked for a bit, you know. So he said, if you need any help, you he can help me out, stuff like that, and things. So I said, okay. So, so I, I get home, and you know, we, we, we start uh, looking around in, in the house if, if I have any evidence of what, how, how we're going to approach going down to E.C. Goodwin, Texas. So we, um, I go down, and I, I have this, this little uh, uh, shelf thing downstairs where I have, I had all, all, all my the drafting that I did down in E.C. Goodwin, Tech and, and whatever things. There was a sheet. Right on the sheet was when, when I when, when I when I left the EC Goodman Tech I would I was up upstairs two days. The, the system was two days upstairs upstairs with the related work for high school work. Three days downstairs for, for your 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 uh what what the trade you what what trade you're in like I was in mechanics or mechanics. So I had I all all it all all finished up there, and I had it signed by each each teacher that, that that I completed my high school thing. So holy cow! When I saw that, <laughs> I come upstairs and I said, "Guess what?" They're told to to Jenny. My school, she says, "Wow, okay, we're going down. We're going down to EC, go to Texas. We we go down there, and they had moved down from East South Main Street up to uh, to the border and all that uh, new school." And, so I hopped in there, and, and, the, and the gal there behind the desk, she says, well, you know, we start talking about that. Thanks. You got any evidence? I picked it up in the shoulder to her. Holy cow, I haven't seen one of those. I don't know how long, you know. Oh, like, let me go and see, and see, the, see the principal. She runs in there, and she comes up a couple minutes later, you're in. She says, the, 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 the only thing that, 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 that we have to wait though for, she, says, she, she suggested, uh, this was like about this time of the year, about March, she says, we, we could give you a diploma, you know, within uh, you know, within months or so. But she said that they recommended for me to uh, to wait till, till till June, and then w when they have the regular uh, graduation, I, I go in with the make it all you know, in Captain order and stuff. The whole so so what they can that that, that June, I, I got pictures here that that June there. Well, uh, uh, I I took uh, I, my, my my other daughter was was home was home here with with the two little the two little boys my two little grandsons they, they came we we all we were up in uh, up in the uh, the Rockcats they had it on the rock Rockcats stadium yeah. so we were up we're up in the up, up in the uh, up in the, uh, the, the, the the box up there and 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 there we, we, it was first class anything you wanted you know <laughs> with a day you know and, oh my God it, it was quite a quite a day so I I got my diploma it's, yeah it's, it's in my head, yes. Yeah, okay. That's so good. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that you want to say to the general public about your military, your life in general? Just anything that you'd like to share as a closing remark? Well, um, 
No, I, 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 they, wars are, you know, people don't, people don't, uh, uh, it, they're, it's about the worst thing you can happen, I, I think, on, on, on Earth, you know, to me. And if it can be avoided, I, I'd say definitely. Never, never start a war. Let, let's have peace and love. We're, we're put on, on this Earth for peace and love. That, that's my, my upbringing, my faith. And I pray every day, believe me, I really pray for peace and love for and all that's, that's going on. And I hope to God that we can get more stabilized in this world. That's because it's, it, 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 it shouldn't be. We, sh we should love our, love our neighbor. I, I always was that way, but you don't get to Well, we thank you very much for sharing your story with us and for the service that you put in during the world. And we're glad that you made it through and that you're still here with us. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding them that the only time I ever had an orange overseas, like we, we got an orange for for, for our for our, uh, our chow for the day you know, with a couple sandwiches, <laughs> with a with a uh, you know, sunk in orange, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and um, that was highlights. Of, of that. But where are you eating most of the time? Just the field rations? Or? When, when, yeah, when, when we're on, on the front lines, it, it was C, what they call the C, K, and D rations. The, the, the D rations were just, were just a, ch a chocolate bar. <laughs> they, they call it x lax Let's <laughs> 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 yeah, some x lax <laughs> But uh, yeah, the, we, we, got, we got the three cans of C ration of uh, like, uh, got a uh, hash, stew, and pork and beans, like, you know, like Campbell's pork and beans. Mm -hmm. And, and then you got three cans of, of um, what the, it was milk crackers, the sea rice with milk crackers. With the, we, I, I, I'd exchange it, we, we'd get about, uh, about three, four hard candies and, and about a package of three cigarettes. So I'd, I, I, I didn't smoke, so I, I, I traded with the guys that wanted the cigarettes, they'd give me their candy, you know, so, <laughs> yeah, so I had that. Yeah, and then uh, the, um, the K rations were, uh, they're, they're more like, they, they call them dog biscuits, they're, they're more of a uh, wheat thing, like, you know, hard and a cracker, you know, with, uh, uh, well, they, they had, uh, like, uh, ham and eggs or something like that. It was just small, little, like, like, like the tuna fish can, cans, like that, you know, of that. Uh, and and how'd you heat them up? Did you heat them up? Or did you heat them cold? You didn't dare light a match up there. Oh, oh okay. no. <laughs> That was odd. We we we, call it, we had to have our church key though, you know, the, the can over. But the, but it's but it's hard not to never on the front one is beat it as it was. That, that, but then, then we got the we got the it, it was dehydrated uh, stuff over there, like the dehydrated eggs and the powdered milk overseas you know, up there. We were, after you were know, we you know, in this one of our one of our cooks for the you know, the two elevens when I got off well he was Art Arthur Hoth Hothier uh Hothier. He was um, lived up in Holyoke, Massachusetts. So I got the we were friendly had to when he got to when he come he, he had a little restaurant up there. He's, he passed away. And then I, I had another one that uh, Elmer Hoffman was a real nice friend of uh, he was from Akron, Ohio, and we corresponded right, right up until about, uh, about four years ago. And his wife passed away, and he passed away. Well, he, his, his son uh, became a, uh, the Army made, made a career. He became a Brigadier General, he was telling me, corresponding, you know, o over all these years, you know. And then there was another one, uh, uh, Emil Hall. He lived in Westfield. It was a small world because my, my, uh, 
my brother-in-law, Louis Liptak, his, his uh, brother, George, was, was a good friend of this emo hall that, that, was, that was in my office. So, so you know, I, I kept in touch with him, you know. And then, then, then he, he wound up on this apple blossom lane was uh, in, uh, right on the border of uh, uh, Westfield and Salisbury. And my other uh, brother-in-law, his, his brother, lived on the same street with, with this emo hall. I had come to fight in this small world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Dad, tell us about when you left Europe and came back to the States. What was the process then? Well, when I got back, I just, you know, I just wanted to get, to try to get back, and there was, there was no work. I, I tried to, get, you know, you, you go to lodge, and I, I didn't have the experience. I, I, I lost. I, I could see why, you know, everything was all messed up. So, uh, so what, what it wound up as, um, what, one of our, uh, our parishioners, the, the, uh, uh, they call him Mike, but his name was Henry, Henry Solby. He had, he had a sub Ford dealership on Route 44 here in Cam. So he, he gave me a call and he says, uh, got a job for you, you know, because he saw that I wasn't getting any work. And he, he was one of, the, one of the best parishioners at, at, at the time financially. He had been to, the, to our, our church. He was a real nice man. He, he did that to me. And I, 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 I worked there from uh, about February to um, and I, 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 am, I invite my name around, you know, the big rises, don't call us, we'll call you, you know. So, so finally, so finally about, uh, I remember about the, about the first, first week in, the, in September, I get, a, I get a phone call, and it was uh, the 16th, about the 16th of September, my, my sister was getting married. That, uh, and uh, it was that, the Monday after that, that uh, this, uh, we t what was we talk garage now, but, but then, but now is is Mitchell Group. Mm -hmm. Their their their, their uh, uh, Chevrolet and Pontiac dealership. When I, when I joined them in 1946, they, they said like we, we got a job for you. And then, but then see that was um, I got on, on they they had they had a figure so they uh, with the government so I was, I was on, under the GI Bill. The GI Bill was to give me training. I, I and about four others that that they hired at the garage, and uh, um, that that uh, that was that, that part there. Um, to, well, I, I, I stayed there. I, I could talk about my my, my, my experiences a little bit, but my not like that. You know. I, I had problems there with my, my, my neck and stuff. I, I was put in the sling and stuff. My, they were hanging me, you know. I was, getting, I, was, I was getting certain traction. I was getting such, such terrific headaches and stuff. I, I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't hack it after. And try, trying to do, trying to do the job. Mm -hmm. So but back in about 1951, I was doing, I, I, I lost about three months of work there that I was going at the heart before for this therapy and whatever. I got out of it, but but then I I, I, didn't, I didn't go right back into, into into the trade because I I had to do a lot of, a lot of stuff underneath dashes and stuff like that. I was doing uh, I do I do the, well, I I couldn't do the heavy work. My my, my arm was never never right, okay. and so I was doing electrical and and um, tune ups, you know, stuff and, and carburations, things like that, and uh, front ends, front alignments. And you know, I was I was like the la the last guy on the, on the, on the, on the assembly line. New cars would get, get drop them off the off the off the truck, and it was, it was my my responsibility to to check over, get the checklist, and make sure that car is ready for the customer that he's going to be happy with. Otherwise, you know, he gets CBs they call them, comebacks, you know. Yeah, so so I I, uh, I I did that I did that. Well, it kept me busy and stuff. And, and um, but then I I, uh, I I was I drifted off. I was working in the boat house up here in Metro. Uh, the uh, what, what is McDonough now? You know, it was compensating reservoir. I did mm -hmm. that for a couple couple of summers until uh, I got, got myself 
and little by little I, I, I got so I could, you know, I could talk, you know, everything was coming back, I, was, I got the good breather up, up there and stuff. And, but then I, I, was, I was also uh, part-time, uh, uh, Adolf Engelke, he was a manager at, at uh, Mitchell's well, we talk garage. He come over came when I was up to, up to the boat house up there. He, he, he got me back there to go to work. He said, come on, come back half a day or something like that. He didn't want to be back at work, you know. So little by little, I, I, I got back in, in, in back, back into into the, my, my, my field and mm -hmm. mechanistry. It, it was really nice. He, they, they all, but then it, it, got, it got to the point in my, my career where I, that was 20 years. Just about exactly 20 years, like August of uh, '66, and I started in September '46. Well, well, um, um, it got to the point. See that gal right there, my little, my little angel. <laughs> well, she, 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 and I. I was figuring, hey, I got, I got to have a little bit more finances here, and they, they don't want to give me a raise, any more raise or anything. Like and, and my, my, you know, that they're all against. So I figured. I got to get a little bit of security you know, for my family, so I, I, I talked with Walter Mitchell. That this, this he, he he took over after, after uh, uh, Bob Pringle died, and uh, uh, that was ju just when I got married in 1956. And I married, uh, Jenny. And, and, uh, so. Uh, he 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 wouldn't come across. Uh, he wouldn't come across anything. So I, so I, so then in the meantime, O'Neill was out here, and, and, and Avon was was looking for help. And, and I, I I I made contact with Lou Slusher, the one of the service manager. So so he said, Yeah, come on down here. You know, so so I, I I I told him, Walter, you know, see you later. I'm, I'm going. So he he come over the house, and then he then, then he started handing me all kinds of things. He said, give me a give me a car. I don't have to. Go back and forth to work and all, all the goodies and stuff. I says, Walter, I'm all through. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. I'll see you. So I'll shake his, shake his hand. So I, so I, I, I went down to O'Neill's, and I, I, so God help me. This is what actually happened. You know, I, I go over there for, for a few days. You know, you know your, my, my stepfather. I remember he was saying he was already trying to coach me. He says. John, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't go down, you know, you, you, got a, you got a good job up there, stuff, you know, sitting up. I said, Pa, no, I'm going, you know. So I go down there. A a after two days down there, I, I knew this uh, uh, Walter, uh, Walter jo uh, uh, at, um, the Johnson, what was it? The, jo the Johnson guy from, from camp. He, he, uh, uh, He comes over to me. He, he, he was using he was doing the new cars. And they, they come to find out, they, they had they had this huge Buick. It was loaded down with everything. Okay, and and the guy across the street with, uh, ran the drugstore, and he was going down to Florida. And and he he come to find out he, he was it got to a point they they, they couldn't make connection, and the guy was going to leave in a couple days, and he had to have the car. If, if the one deals didn't, give, didn't come, up, come up with the car, he's going to get a car somewhere else, and they're going to lose the, lose the, lose the uh, deal, you know? Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's Howard, Howard Johnson. So how, Howard comes over to me, and I, I knew friends, were kind of friends with him when I was going to high school for a couple of years in Canada, you know? He was a class ahead of me in my, 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 uh, my life's class, so, so he says, John, he says, I, I got a problem with me, system, you know? And he said, I, I, I can't believe I, I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going up to Avon Mountain with, 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 this new, with this new Buick and I think it's popping away and everything. It, it, it's just, just no, no, no power and stuff. Okay, so I, I said, well, okay, we'll open our sleeves and school and see what's going on, you know. So, so I said, okay, yank out the plugs. Yanked out the plugs. And, the, and there, 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 there the doggone thing was, uh, we, 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 we come to, to the agreement, you know. The wrong camshaft because because the, 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 the valves were opening up they, they, they weren't coordinated the way they're supposed to be so yeah so okay let's get a doggone camshaft and we ran to the ran to the ran to the uh, parts guy and, and 
they, they, they located a camshaft, so that night, I remember, I, I come home and, and, and I was telling, telling Jerry and my wife, I said, hey, you better get supper quick, because I gotta go back, and we gotta, we gotta get this car, get this car on the road, you know, so they, they said they, they, they want me back there, you know, so I ran back there, and, and they, they had slush and all the, all the biggies were out here, we're all, tore that dog out thing apart, by, 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 by about 10 o'clock that night, we, we had it going. Oh, man. When we got that thing going, that was it. I was in with Mr. Kenny there and his brother, his brother, the salesman there. Well, he was, so, so the next day I'm, I'm, I'm going on the job, he said, he, he pokes his, uh, Mr. Kenny pokes his nose into the, uh, the service wagon, uh, Mr. Ford. He says, you know, I was in between a job, you know, he says, don't work him too hard, he says. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, we were, you know, it, 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 I made, I'm, I definitely made the right move. And then, and then he 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 he, he set me up for the, I, I went up what they call the flat rate, you know. So when I what, what you, you want how what what how quick you could do a job, do it right, and how, how much you so I, 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 I it was a forty hour week, but I'd accumulate up up to seventy hours on the jobs I get, mm -hmm. and no comebacks and stuff, you know, and things. So I I, I was really it was it. In, 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 in 1980, we, we, I had, had three, 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 the three of them were going to tuitions for college. Took care of them. Yeah. And speaking of schools, do you want to talk about when you finally graduated from high school in 2001? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you maybe heard about, about like, like, uh, like the, the veterans getting, getting their high school diplomas. Well, I, I, I was, you know, I, I got, I got my, my diploma, I, you know, to, I got my, my journeyman certificate in 1950 after I completed the GI Bill, mm -hmm. and I was a journeyman, and everything was up and up, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a regular journeyman uh, technician. As a matter of fact, I got, got the, after I got the doctor of motors and stuff, I was supposed to be a doctor of motors. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, we're, we're down. We're down at uh, uh, for caucus uh, downstairs at, at the church, and, and this uh, uh, Tom Turk, one of the parishioners, he, he's kind of lobbyist at at the uh, at, uh, uh, state capitol. So he says, "Hey, John, you you, you hear you? How, how come you, uh, did you have your high school diploma?" I said, "No." He said, "Well, you ought to get it." He says, "You know, I I said, what the heck do I you know? You want an arm and retire and you want stuff on? Yeah, come on. Why, why didn't you get it? You know." Well, oh God, I well, it's okay. So I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll talk it over you know, my with Jenny, my wife, and stuff. So, so, so we we talked for a bit. You know. So he said, if you need any help, you can help me out, stuff like that, and things. So I said, okay. So, so I, I get home, and you know, we we, we start uh, looking around in, in the house if, if I have any evidence of what how, how we're going to approach going down to E.C. Wood in Texas. So we. Um, I go on and I, I had this this little uh, uh, shelf thing downstairs where I had, I had all, all all my the drafting that I did down in EC Gordon Tech and, and whatever things. There was a sheet. Right on the sheet was when when I when when I, when I left the EC Gordon Tech I would, I was up upstairs two days. The, the system was two days upstairs upstairs with the related work for high school work. Three days downstairs for for your 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 uh, what what the trade you what what trade you're in like I was in mechanics you did mechanics so I I all all it all all finished up there and I had it signed by each each teacher that that, that I completed my high school thing so holy cow when I saw that <laughs> I come upstairs and I said guess what they're told to to Jenny and my school she says wow. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. EC go to Texas. We we go down there, and they had moved down from East South Main Street up to uh, to the border and all that uh, the new school. And so I hopped in there, and, and the and the gal there behind the desk, she says, "Well, you know, we start talking about that. Thanks. You got any evidence?" I picked it up and showed it to her. Holy cow! I haven't seen one of those. I don't know how long, you know. Oh, my God. let me go and see, and see the see the principal. She runs in there and she comes up a couple minutes later. You're in. She says, the, 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 the only thing that, that 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 we have to wait though for she says she she suggested uh, this was like about this time of the year, about in March. She says 
we, we could give you a diploma, you know, within uh, you know within months or so. But she said that they recommended for me to uh, to wait till, till till June, and then when they have the regular uh, graduation, I, I go in with the they can all you know, in Captain order and stuff. The whole so so what they can that that, that June I, I got pictures here that that June there will uh, uh, I I took uh, I. My, my my other daughter was was home was home there with, with the two little the two little boys my two little grandsons they, they came we we all we were up in uh, up in the uh, the rock hats that they had it on the rock rock hat stadium yeah. so we were up we're up in the up, up in the up in the, uh, the, the 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 box up there and 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 there we, we, it was first class anything you wanted you know with a day you know and, oh my God it, it was quite a, quite a day so I I got my diploma it's, yeah it's the same thing it is. Yeah, okay. That's so good. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that you want to say to the general public about your military, your life in general? Just anything that you'd like to share as a closing remark? No. Um, well, I, I, I say wars are, you know, people don't, uh, people don't, uh, uh, it, they're, it's about the worst thing you can have, I, I think, on, on, on Earth. You know, to me. And if it can be avoided, I, I'd say definitely. Never, never start a war. Let, let's have peace and love. We, we're put on, on this Earth for peace and love. That, that's my, my upbringing, my faith. You know, and I pray every day, believe me, I really pray for peace and love for and all that's that's going on and I hope to God that we can get more stabilized and peace with that land. That's because it's it, it, it shouldn't be. We should we should love our love our neighbor you know, you know, we shouldn't uh, that's my I, I always was that way but you know it uh, Well, we thank you very much for sharing your story with us and for the service that you put in during the World War. And we're glad that you made it through and that you're still here with us. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.